What's up, bull? Gang, what's up, Taurus? What's up, baby? Did your ass miss me? I had to make y'all miss me because y'all views was not that they, they wasn't they wasn't taking care of the kid. So the kid had to take care of myself. You see how y'all left me on out here, Taurus? I bet y'all ass ain't think y'all was getting a video to Christmas. Hey, boo, hey, if this is your first time you're on my channel, I'm Mocha. Also, this is your first time you're on my channel, look out, I cuss. Make cuss a little, make cuss a lot, just depending on what the hell the cards say. Oh, but I'm a cuss. So if cussing does not work for you, write down now. Feel free to find another beautiful reader here on YouTube that can further assist you without cussing. Because the way I'm set up, I said what I said, okay? Thank you all, uh, the new subscribers. Welcome to the family, y'all. Will it is functional, okay? We don't fight and fuss. We might cry, make cuss, okay? We share, we grow, we love, evolve, okay? Posy vibes only over here, all right? That said, you guys, take what resonates, leave the rest. You know, if it does not apply to you, don't try to put that fucking shoe on. If it's too big, your yeah, ass gonna fall, okay? It don't work for you. There's a bunch of motherfuckers on YouTube. Bunch of them, okay? That said, also, return to familia. Hey, boo. The, the asshole in me, okay? I don't know if that's the Aries side or the Libra side because both of them play pity, okay? Sometimes it wanted to say, man, no, nah, the bulls don't miss me yet. But y'all was literally screaming in the subconscious like, Mocha, we sorry. We gonna get our shit together. So this is a 30-day trial tour. So let's run it, okay? This <laughs> Y'all talk big shit. Also, if you haven't followed me on Instagram, if you already do, you probably got mad at my at my dear Taurus post. But I know who I was dealing with. So when I'm talking about it affecting my fin look, it, it affected me um financially, it's like a report card. You know, so how we get scored here on it's too much. I I don't even know if YouTube's gonna let me talk about that. But what I will say is it's space age pimping going on. So when I upload a 10k video and then Taurus comes through with 400 and something, yeah, you plan? Listen, Taurus, my money. If I can't talk to no other sign about my coin, Taurus, my coin. Okay? That said, I appreciate y'all for not getting them comments saying, where's Taurus? You know, because I'm 100. I told y'all what it was. I said what I said. And here I'm back now. So listen, let's just agree to disagree and let me know. Well, reach out to me in the email or whatever that you need to do at Mocha de Love. Uh, mocha de love at gmail.com reach out in the damn email section or something and let me know what it is that I can do to, to, to become better for you because I gotta walk like me I just walk it like a talk it but I live for the art of compromise okay so like, you guys let me know what it is that I can do is it, a, is it the accountability that I get the bill and tell your ass towards you did this hmm hmm Cause y'all don't like y'all love that finger. It was you because you did. But I love y'all. So I see past that shit. So here we is. Alright, this will be for the first half of September. You guys, if you need a personal reading, that information can be found in the description. Also, Mocha is going to Mexico. So I will be gone. <laughs> From uh September 20th is the cutoff date for the readings. I'm gonna be leaving a little bit after that, but um I definitely uh, I want you guys to I think I'm leaving on the 20th. Was it the 20th? I think it's the 20th. I'm not sure. But I'll be gone. Okay? So I won't be doing a reading. So if you actually need a personal reading, go ahead and get it in, you guys. Stay up on that community tab. I have a big event where I'm going to be throwing a party. I'm looking for a venue in Florida. So I would like for a lot of you guys to attend if you can. So I'm talking about when Texas roll out to uh, real let give up by the... Okay, I'm not gonna do any of that when I get there, but I'm just saying, like, it's, it, it sounds good. Fuck it, let's get it. All right, so this will be for the Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, as well as the Cross Watchers of the Sign of Taurus. We're gonna crank out with your intuitive messages. Let's get it. What I got for you all was foolish decisions, boredom, doors open, heart chakra, settling, blessings and finances, universal justice. Fear of the unknown, mimicking, bond, I'm sorry, binds removed, walking away, outside looking in, sexual health, revelations, recognition, obsession, sacrificial gains, I'm sorry, that walking away was involuntary walking away, all right, I'm trying to make sure I miss. Oh, doors open, okay? 
So, that's it. If those intuitive messages did resonate with you, for this, whoa, shit, she's falling all over. This is your message. Let's talk about it. Maybe I don't want to have everything stacked up here and then have an attitude and shit fall all over. <laughs> that's some Aryan shit. Listen, at least, I'm, at least I'm true by the cause. Overall energy is the two of spades. Clarifying that, I got the lover. So, some of y'all actually literally may have two decisions to make in love and you don't know how to speak the truth. You have two paths that you can walk. One requires you making a huge jump, which makes you feel a bit uncomfortable with thinking about it because either you or another person is codependent with on you or within your energy. Some of you guys, this could have to do with the Gemini. Others of you, this could have to do with the fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But for some of you all, there's a need for you guys to choose which path that you want to walk. Also, when it comes to your actual endeavors and when it comes to your um, ambitions, some of y'all need to make a decision also on how you want to make your money. But it's going to require for you to leave something, a job, person, place, thing behind. For some of you all, this is a sacrificial game. Okay, angel message that you got. Remember who you are, Taurus. You better say it with your mother. Chest, throat chakra. A lot of you all are needing to speak. Some of you all are holding truths in. And for some of you all, um, things will be illuminated. So for those of you who've been waiting on some type of clarity in order to release yourself from a situation, things will be illuminated uh, going forward in the month of September. That's going to kind of back you up in that corner. Spirit is backing your ass up in the corner. What you going to do? What you going to do, Taurus? What move is you going to bust? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Remember who you are, Archangel Michael. You are a powerful, loving, and creative child of God. You are very loved, okay? So for some of you all, this has to do with you being divinely protected, okay? In the midst. Some of y'all, this is you illuminated some shit for a motherfucker. Listen. Do you know who the F I am? Put some respect on it. No. So for Taurus, this this is um this month is mo is more so about balance, okay? Balance within self and the mastery of that balance within self. All right, so I'm gonna do a little something special for you guys. I said I wasn't gonna do it for Taurus. No, y'all like yes, and don't sit up in them damn comments and be like I guess you don't like you uh yeah you guess yeah I guess you don't know me that well because I fucking love y'all, but I don't mind giving y'all last the whole time because we both got damn horns. And we could bump them, sis, bro, whatever. I mean, I did everything, but ask y'all who want to square up and meet me outside in the park at 3 o'clock. I'm about that action. I'm just saying, Taurus. Some of y'all need to get some damn aggression off any damn way. Damn it. Now, it's my favorite part. Fear, what messages, what messages do you have for Taurus as it pertains to their finances? Some of y'all getting new opportunities. Some of you all, it may require for you to travel, okay? Some of you all, there could be, I'm also hearing inheritances. And for some of you all who've been waiting on some type of uh, return money or some type of money to come back from school, I definitely feel like it's going to come unexpected. Some of y'all is over obsessing when this fucking money coming, honey. Because some of y'all got shit to do. You not already, Some of y'all not already spent the money for it. Get to you, okay? Um, for some of you all, you are going to be using some type of blessing or some type of new opportunity or some type of uh, windfall of money in order to... Um, Invest in yourself, which is good shit, Taurus. Come on. Snap snap fingers, okay? Others of you, you have a new opportunity on the rise after you choose to cut something off. I can't make this shit up. Some of y'all making a decision on if, you have, if you're have, if you going to choose to um, just walk away from a job or if you're going to give it two or three weeks. And I feel like once you get to that two-week period, tomorrow never comes. And some of y'all need it to. And it's, it's this lack. For some of y'all, it's the perception of how other people are going to view you. For some of y'all, it's like, well, I don't want to seem disloyal. I know I need to cut some shit off. Some of y'all, spirit is holding your damn blessing because you need to cut off a karmic situation. Okay? So if you're in this energy of feeling less than, lack thereof, for some of y'all, it's that actual lack-ass mindset. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. You cannot want something and then be afraid to take risks to get to it. How you going to want something or how you going to chase something standing still? Insanity, baby. Listen. Yeah, for some of you all, you don't want to abandon something that you've been working on, something that you've invested in when it comes to a job. Some of you all are worrying about how people are going to perceive you. You, you seem as if, if some of y'all may have Capricorn in your chart. Um, I talked about y'all over there too. It was just a little joke, nothing major, you know, but you know me, I'm going to tell you to your face. Listen, if you haven't followed me on Instagram already, y'all, go follow me. I, I'm sorry. I, I forgot to tell y'all earlier. It's at mocha underscore love underscore tarot. Okay. But you guys gonna have to get your uh, your uh, your weeklies from over there, okay?
But some of you all, this has to do with, because I want to kind of stay on the progression of this job situation because I'm really needed to know for the mid-September if I'm going to have to bring the bill to the reading. Okay. Um, but for some of you all, this has to do with what you've invested. You don't want to abandon the situation because of what you have invested into it. But Spirit is saying that's a hold up, okay? For some of you, damn, I got the, the king and the queen of diamonds. Some of y'all got two situations to cut the hell off. And there's this feeling around lack behind it. And it has to do with the program of the subconscious, what you told your damn self. For some of you all, wherever it is that you're, some of y'all actually have a new opportunity coming about. So some of you guys in the first half of September may be receiving positive news about school jobs okay i'm hearing late registration so for some of y'all this could actually have to do with you registering late you kind of being worried about it needed to make a decision on if you're going to go for it based on what one person says spirit say get on that goddamn phone and call somebody else somebody's meant to help you okay some of you all may receive some type of um hmm some of you all are internally conflicted regarding the third party situation because you're tied to this person financially and spirit is saying when you choose to trust me when you choose to allow your ancestors to work on your behalf and allow this divine intervention where the walls won't come tumbling down any fucking way because a person can only block a blessing for a person for so long when they've done the work some of y'all are needing to do the work in order to get to this point and for some of y'all the work is confidently moving forward and not feeling as if you don't deserve that particular fulfillment based on what you have done or what you have allowed or this particular comfort that you choose to sit in okay some of you guys are innovators and you choose to be an employee. Who does that? Some of y'all are sharing your ideas with motherfuckers who are stealing your motherfucking ideas and putting their own damn brand on it. Huh. Who does that? <laughs> Taurus, come on, man. All right, so let's get it. <clears throat> Taurus, I'm hearing also that could be you. I'm going to rob somebody of some damn brand. Taurus, mine, Taurus, man. Alright, Spirit, what messages do you have? The Taurus? During this time? In love? For the first half of September 2019, what can they expect in love? What message do you have from the Taurians? In love? For the first half of September? Someone right me yeah, at? Damn it! When I said what I said, I said what I said. Some of y'all are holding on to something for dear damn life. For some of you guys, it could be a person, place, a thing. But you're holding on to it and spirit is going to bring a damn towel. There's going to be an involuntarily moving away. This could have also been occurring or could be occurring um, or could have been occurring at the end of August. Okay. For some of you all, you have some of you guys want to hold on to the sign of Scorpio. Or some of you guys was preventing this relationship from actually moving forward. Someone is holding on to some type of resentment or some type of um, some type of energy. It's like somebody, some another person outside of yourself is keeping the situation stuck because for some of you all, this person is choosing to let go of whatever happened in the past. Okay, for some of you all, this person could also be using your children as a form of manipulation. Okay, you could have walked away from this person because they you found out they was giving the two people. For some of you all, you're indecisive on if you want to kind of. Be harmonious with another person due to the fact that you have children with them. I feel that you're going to do the right thing when it comes to the children, but you're going to release your burdens around this person. And I feel like whoever this person is, some of y'all could be dealing with the Pisces, okay? Some of you guys could be dealing with the sign of Scorpio. Others of you could be dealing with the air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. For some of you all, you feel stuck in a situation, but something is getting ready to be illuminated. For some of you all, you're going to find out that you've been carrying the burdens of a whole other person and their insecurities, and this person is plotting and planning to either keep you from another person or this person is plotting and planning to actually start up a whole family situation or start up a situation with someone who they have children with behind your back. So if this could also be you or another person, okay, by the way. Some of you all, some of y'all, some of you guys are releasing a situation where someone was dealing with somebody else and yourself, okay? For some of you all, this has to do with some type of, I, I keep hearing internal cleansing, internal cleansing. So some of you all may be in a very spiritual place. You may be, yeah, I definitely see a lot of illumination to a situation when it comes to finances. Some of y'all could also be finding out that you've been, uh, you've been actually, and this could be another person, you've been pouring your energy into a we, and somebody been plotting and planning on their damn me, and they me is actually, uh, cooking in the damn oven, okay? Some of you guys are needing to make a decision possibly between a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and commitment moving forward with this person. Some of you guys feel overburdened because you want something new, but you feel stuck in a situation where you have obligations with another person who is insecure, so you're constantly hearing that yap, 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 yap. For some of y'all, this person could constantly talk about this person. 
this is crazy. Some of y'all are entangled with the situation that could be in some type of third party situation or someone could have walked away from a third party situation. And for some of you all, this has to do with self-worth. Someone moved away due to their self-worth. And for some of you all, either this person is resisting you or you resisting another person. But for some of you, all, I keep hearing, I will not lose. I will not lose. OK, some of you all could be dealing with the earth sign Capricorn towards Virgo that is extremely controlling. And some of you all could have been trying to manifest some type of truth. Some of you all could be holding the fact or trying to some of y'all are in this energy where you feel as if you're trying to like you're wearing this poker day, you're wearing this damn poker face. OK, some of you guys could be dealing with the sign of Aquarius or some of y'all could be juggling a damn some of y'all could be dealing with an earth sign Capricorn towards Virgo. And this person could be moving forward or taking a leap of faith towards an Aquarius, which is going to bring the damn towers falling down to you. Where you didn't want to leave another person out of loyalty. This person ain't got the same energy. They just got a hell of a poker face. Some of y'all is going to get played in the month of September because you chose not to release the situation when the hands of God was literally <laughs> literally pushing that situation out of your life. For some of y'all out here, May. For some of y'all out here, August. For some of y'all out here, July. And some of you guys want to keep giving to a situation. And some of y'all going to find out that someone has been resisting you and kind of distant because they're married. They got a whole nother fucking family over here. Especially if you're dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Or if you're dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Some of y'all could also be dealing with the sign of Scorpio. This person has behind the scenes moved on. But somebody's been painting an illusion to keep you from moving on. Some of you guys could be ending a cycle around um, a Leo, a Taurus, a Scorpio, or an Aquarian person. You're being forced to, some of y'all are being forced to move away from a situation to actually be divinely guided to the person who you're supposed to be with, who you have a past life connection with, or some type of twin flame connection with this person. Things are going to be illuminated. Some of y'all pinned the wrong person as your twin flame. It was actually the person who cut you out for self-worth. Bing! For some of y'all. Yeah. Some of you guys are um, kind of in your head about how a third party situation is handled or how you handled that situation or what you allowed in the past. There's a need for you guys not to be in this energy of self-blame. It is swords in this bitch everywhere. So I definitely feel like some of you all pressure going to bust pipes in the month of September, Taurus. And I feel like it's going to so I literally hear word vomit like somebody finna give somebody that motherfucking work like okay you want the truth truth is I don't want your ass I'm bored if I had the motherfucking money and I won a lottery tomorrow bitch I'll be about this motherfucker and I mean I feel like Taurus you want to say you heard you did you hear the essential did you hear the essential the accentuated or the accentuation on that bitch you understand because I feel like kind of like Megan Thee Stallion I love her that's my boo but she hits that up. Bitch, cuz I ain't worried about you. Bitch, no, I don't wanna be cool. Bitch, still hanging with the same crew. Hey, okay? It's like some of you all have this energy of, it's like you've been holding back, holding back. And Spirit of San Taurus, remember who the fuck you are. Stand up for happiness and know that justice will prevail all, okay? Some of you guys could be dealing with the sign of Libra. Either you or this person. Some, yeah, somebody's regretting the decision. I'm also seeing that if you're dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, this person could be juggling the decision on if they want to fool. Like, I feel like some of y'all could have moved away from this person. I feel like, uh, okay, I'm hearing, um, she gave me money when I'm in need. Yeah, she's a trifling friend indeed. Oh, she's a gold digger way over town. That digs on me. Okay, so some of you guys could be dealing with somebody who's only juggling you. It's back to school time. Somebody going to get dumped after these kids get in school, honey. Somebody got some fake love. Straight up to my face. <laughs> Straight up to my face. I say, Taurus, stay tied to somebody else. And you don't like being all by yourself. Straight up in your face. It's straight up in your face for some of y'all. And for some of you all, you have to choose self-worth. Walking away from this type of bullshit in the month of September in order to get to this energy, okay? Because this is the outcome. The Ace of Cups, she got some new, new shit. Something that is divinely covered. And for some of y'all, you have people trying to send you the spirit of confusion. Some of you guys are needing to make a judgment in order to move forward with a damn new Leo who you love and all up on, okay? For some of you all, you have a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, who's trying to renew a situation. But you're going to have to, like, men... Men, some type of differences and actually ask the right questions in order to get your clarity to move forward, okay? 
But some of y'all, there was a third party situation where somebody is hiding the fact that they having a little baby. Okay. But I do see that things, again, will be illuminated so regarding family. Um, where it is that you advance, advance. Invest your time, your finances. The people who you're investing in towards, it's a whole lot of self-love that needs to go on up in this thing so that you can really truly see divine love before you versus the, the illusions that motherfuckers be trying to paint. Some of y'all are moving away from half-assed love and moving away to a situation that is more abundant. Some of you guys are ending a toxic cycle with someone and renewing by communicating clearly, okay? Some of y'all are dealing with somebody who's possibly mimicking the behavior of your twin flame, I call them, well, me and my guides and my ancestors, we like to call them minions. Or this person could be mimicking your behavior, Taurus, to try to keep you away from your divine partner. This person could have also used some type of binding or black magic. But spirit is saying, I don't give a damn how much a magician is a magician. When I said what I said, some of y'all just could have to do, some of y'all could be moving forward to a Gemini. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Leo. Some of you guys are trying to transform a situation where there's children, okay, where you have children with another person. And some of y'all are actually meeting your damn divine masculine. Some of y'all could be dealing with the sign of Aries. I definitely feel like for some of you all, you're trying to transform a situation, but someone could also be moving on. This person could also be moving on. Um, some of y'all are dealing with someone where you have a twin flame and so does the other person. And some of you all are standing, staying in karmic situation because you think somebody is your twin and they're not. This person is a karmic. They was a karmic in the previous life and this person is trying to prevent your legacy. Okay? So you guys let me know how this damn resonates. That reading got juicy than a motherfucker. Okay? If you need a personal reading, that information can be found within the description. I love you all. Don't make me change my mind about doing this damn Taurus video for mid-month because I love y'all. But I suck it up. I suck it up, Taurus. All right? <laughs> send you all peace, blessings, love, protection, and really on the cool, some sucker duckers to this bullshit. All right, so I love you all. Mwah. Namaste.